Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, my name is Richard Tucker and I'm here at Regal Gentleman Studios and today I'm with Tyrone. How's it going? Too bad, you good? Uh, so what can I do for you today, my man? What are you after? Yeah, a little taper cut. Um, taper on the sides. Need the curls on the top. You can take it a little bit. Mm. Like a little trim on top. It's quite nice on top already, and to be fair, it's more like a bit of maintenance. Sure. Yeah. And then uh, fade-wise, it looks like you've had a bit of like a drop fade. Like through here, is that sort of thing you're kind of after again? Yeah, you kept the you kept the tapering on, and then yeah, you nice man. Shape your beard, keep your, keep the same shape of the beard. Mm -hmm. I'm just kneeing it up, kneeing it up a little bit for you, yeah, yeah, sweet. So yeah, I can do that. For you. It looks like a bit of like a, a low fade, like dropping into the back. So when you're saying taper, I guess that that's kind of thing. And did he, did he put a line in there as well? Or was that just? I just flew back from Barbados. So and they put a little, yeah. I can see it's like the little, the heartbeat the font. Heart, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's quite sick, isn't it? Did you want, do you want that back in there maybe? If you, if you can do Yeah, that. we could do that. Yeah, just, yeah. You can see it's sort of like a little remnants of it there. Uh, same thing. Or we can, if you want to switch it up, we can just do like a clean line. But do you like the heartbeat? Do you want to keep the heartbeat in there? Yeah. All right, so we'll do that then. All right, nice one. And then, yeah, we'll just uh, trim it a little bit on top for you. And I'll still keep that like drop, that drop fade in there for you really. And then we'll just clean up the, the edge up for you uh, through the front. Let's have a little look. How are you, you finding like the edge up at the front at the moment? How does it feel for you like? It's all right, it's a bit, yeah. obviously I think I took it back a little bit. Yeah, before. yeah. Yeah, you can see you've got a little bit of growth back on it, haven't you? Just yeah, like, yeah. like around here, like a, like a centimeter, Definitely. just through here. Um, so I guess, I guess you, you got two options really, like obviously it's like, yeah, growing it out, but then, you know, it's a bit of a miss, isn't it, to, to do that right now. But you can do if you wanted to, or um, if you want, I can, just, I can just follow the similar shape that you've got currently, if you just want it quite clean for today. Mm -hmm. And then maybe later on, you can think about sort of bringing that, bringing that back forward. Does that sound, sound good to you? So we'll do that, yeah? All right, sweet, all right, nice one, man. And then, um, yeah, and you just want it a little bit like sharper, just into the beard as well for you. Maybe like fade it in a little bit into into here, keeping the same length. Okay, cool, man. Sweet. Oh, I can see they've done like yeah. You can see like now I've brushed it. It's like proper like this as well, which is quite sick actually. I thought it was just the one sort of little jump. That's quite nice. So we'll yeah, we'll freshen it up. That's it. I'll probably I'll probably get in there first to be honest, because once I do the fade, that's just going to completely take that out and we don't want that. How short do you normally go on top? Do you have a preference or they just kind of just, really just kinda, they just kind of do a little bit? I think what's it on top now as well? Two, two yeah, maybe, maybe a bit longer. I might start a long attachment. I'll go with the grain for you. So it smooths you over a little bit. Um, and then maybe, yeah, we can go a little bit tighter if it's still, but then they're gonna go, it's gonna go curly again, so it will shrink down so, anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. really, like you said, you just kind of, you only really want to smooth over, it's don't you? Not the yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I can do then, is if, what if we maintain, like the way I just smooth it over with scissors on top? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, sweet, let's do that.
And then what I'll do is I'll go over the blade afterwards just to make it a bit cleaner for you. Does that seem all right so far? Well, basically going over someone's line anyway, so I can't really take too much credit for that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do like the skin fade, yeah, but again, it's like tapering and a, and a drop fade, yeah? Yeah, sweet, man. Again, now I'm just softening the line that I've created. And looking at the shape on a whole, if anything, this is a maintenance kind of haircut. This is just spruce, sprucing up a haircut or a shape that's already there. So I haven't had to set up the canvas this time. Um, there's a, the, you know, the weight is already taken down. So it's better that I just work in the fade into the haircut and um, if I need to remove some weight, which we're going to move, uh, remove a little bit of length at the top anyway, then I can after. I'm just doing a little bit of refining there where I've created the guideline just to remove any sort of dense areas that are left behind from the zero. Again, just pushing the line up a little bit. I've adjusted the lever so it's close to a 0 0.5 and then just tapping that line up a little bit there before we start initially fading. And then just going back down to do a little bit more refining. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do you have a shape up here as well? Do you have it a little bit sharper like around that edge or do you leave it natural? No, leave it natural. natural, yeah. So I'll fade that out a little bit more for you if you like. Don't look quite nice. How's that looking so far for you? Is that alright? Yeah? Wicked man. And then I'll, what is, I'll just go through the top, do a long attachment for you just to remove a little bit of that length because it just takes it down a little notch, doesn't it? So that's like a real tiny smooth over. Do you reckon a little bit more? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, nice. There we go. This is always the worst bit because all the hair goes over your face. <laughs> you like it's all about like safeguarding yourself isn't it so if you can do that with technique then it's not an easy when someone says that they can do something that they can't oh yeah 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 that's not good Over, too overzealous like just yeah calm down. <laughs> yeah it's like know like, know your limits isn't yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah if you can't do it just say you can't do it because especially one thing about hair mm. it's really you're quite touchy, it's just smart. It, it's, 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 important, it's important man if it, you know what i mean you, you you've got you got to wait a bit for it to grow actually, back yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what's, that's what's obviously happened for you here, isn't it? You, you, you feel like the previous one's taking it back, back in a little bit. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So, so what we'll do with the hairline then is like you say, I can obviously like you could, we can wait, wait, or I can just edge it up yeah, for where it's at for now. You happy with that? Luckily, you've got a good, strong, strong hairline. There. It doesn't look like it's gone too far back anyway for you. But um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll edge that up for you, man. And um, I'll show you where we are back in sides anyway. A little bit closer as well. There we go. So I dropped it again at the back. Mm -hmm. Love the tattoos, obviously. I can't take credit for them, but they're sick with the hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all right, yeah? Sweet. Uh, Lengthwise on top, is that okay as well? Where it's just been smoothed over? Wicked. Nice one. To where it is. And then at some point, you know, when you're ready to just like solder it for a couple of trims grow it out and then come back through and we'll get that. Uh, I think, I think um, he tried to, the last, the last bar in Bobby, he tried to correct it. Oh, is it? Oh, so it was like a little oh, bit I of a third back. It was the one before that. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, took the risk and... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I didn't yeah. want to yeah. make her, I didn't want to make him... Yeah, like, feel, feel, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, you let him know sort of thing. Yeah. 
yeah I, it's, it's yeah it's nice of you not to obviously yeah go like nuts because i can imagine uh, the, at the, the time younger, the younger me might have gone and moved <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> the younger me would have been very upset <laughs> that, that, yeah what i'll get you to do is just come a little bit forward on the chair for me perfect that's great yeah nice one So as discussed with Tyrone, a couple of cuts back, um, the barber nicked it in a little bit too far for him, uh, the hairline. So we're basically gonna continue to correct the shape for him. Um, you know, I'm looking at it here, I can see like the angle is like this here, and then here it's a little bit more towards me. So I need to balance these out a little bit for him. But it's a case really, there's not a lot of saying sorry, and there's not much I can do in a sense of, you know, until he grows that through, that's when the real connect, uh, correction can happen. But luckily for him, it, it's actually quite thick, like his, his hair's thick enough that it's, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. Do you know what I mean? Well, as if it was someone else who didn't have like the strongest hairline, it could have been, yeah, it could have been a bit of a, not a good one. So what I would like to do is obviously leave all of this and then just go like that. So which particularly I might be able to if I blade it and then smooth that down. So let me have a look at that and see if I can do a bit more of a correction for him today. I think the thing what happens is that barbers get so obsessed with making it so clean that they sacrifice the hairline for it and actually the hairline comes first the cleanness after. So if you're, if you can't get it clean, don't worry about it. At least the man's still got his hairline, do you know what I mean? And I think afterwards you can then go on perfecting and, 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 and making it, making it sharper. So even like here, for instance, you know, it's, it's been taken up a little bit too far, mm. but it's amazing what you can do. Just tap in just a little bit near the hairline and already it's just thickened that edge up, like, which is, so, which is quite nice actually. So it looks better than I, I thought it was going to be. What we'll have to do is just slightly nip this corner in here to balance that out. What I'll do is sharpen this up and then I might even fade this out here. So then he can bring, we can bring that back forward and we'll have a little look. So we'll, we'll blade that up and then we'll go from there. Just, you can sit back now and I'll spin you around. Thanks mate. Oh yeah, it's not too much yeah, so we've managed to bring this in a bit here because that was right up here. But once I get the blade on it, it should even out over time. And then you can even see actually, you see where that's all the growth that's come through. I've brought it back here for you. So I'm going to try and do that today and see if I can bring it back, saving you time to like grow it back. Do you know what I mean? But I think he was, yeah, it was definitely that, that he focused, he was focusing on just trying to get sharp and sharp and, and yeah. clean and not. Yeah, so you can see here where it's like the original where it's been brought in there. And this is the new line now where we just brought it back forward basically. And we'll have a look now, we'll bring him up. And I haven't concentrated on making it too close to the hairline because it will give him some time to sort of like bring that back forward. Um, and obviously just looking at the lines here as well, because that makes a difference, you know, if the, if the hairline is going to be straight or wonky. Oh yeah, uh, if you just bring your head forward for me. There we go. Actually, that's way better than I thought because um, you can see the the new growth just just through here. I'll give you a close up actually because you can see it's a bit distant that mirror, so you can see through here. So you've got all that new growth here now, and the shape. Like I think it looks a bit more a little bit more balanced as well just by getting those angles uh, back in their natural natural spot. Is there anything there that feels a bit off you though that you want to adjust? Does that does that feel okay? Brilliant. And then we'll just tidy up the beard a little bit for you. Yeah. Just want it like faded in yeah. a little bit tighter. 
A little bit cleaner. Do you have it like quite sharp in there or just yeah, like just natural? Like sharp, you have it sharp in there as well. There, yeah. So, yeah clean, it clean it up a little bit, yeah. basically just fading this out through here so because obviously the line is gone into here and I always prefer it's my personal preference but to keep the line a bit more natural again uh, so here I'm just I mean sometimes you can have a line through here but where it's in here I would like to fade it out and just bring back that part of his face in with the beard which is quite nice but obviously here this is fine because that can be anyone's personal preference really and obviously his is here so we'll sharpen this out and that will sort of make the fade pop a little bit more Creating a little bit of tension behind the blade really helps gain control. Also, it makes the hair stick out a little bit as well, so you actually get a little bit closer. People love the idea of like shaving themselves with a blade at home. And it takes a bit of practice, but the key is, is the angle of the blade and the tension that you create with your skin. So you don't obviously give yourself a little nip. What I'm doing now is just assessing uh, this shape here and trying to mirror it. It feels like potentially like naturally this or this one has been cut in a bit deeper, but whether, I was, whether uh, as you can see where it's a bit denser here, it might be difficult to blend that out. So the best thing I can do is just follow this previous line he's got, and then I'll go back to the other line and then probably just match that up for him. And just smoothing over some of the hairs there on the tash. The length's quite decent, but you can always see a few bits sticking out. Again, just cutting with the grain really helps give it a little bit more control. And you can do that on any hair type as well when it comes to the tash. If you want to remove a little bit of weight or you just want to, you just want to smooth it over a little bit. The skin can be quite sensitive on the neck, so I'm just using a trimmer here just to clear the area. You can see it gets pretty close anyway. And you're most better off doing this sometimes on the neck if, um, if, if the hair has a tendency to be like an ingrown hair. I have the same problem, hence why I don't shave. Men probably using scissors so that you get a little bit more control with that obviously freehand is like you can go wrong when you do this on yourself but i know some gents that do it after a bit of practice you know you can always just sort of hover in like that kind of thing and then when you hear the sound you know you're tapping the beard and you know you're just doing the surface then and you're not you're not going in there too short same tech as we were doing earlier on top of the hair just sort of almost bouncing the scissor on top of the beard and doing a, a snipping action 
and then that just smooths it over basically. So a little bit smoother. So I'm also doing my checks now in the mirror as he's looking as well. So I'm just going to fade this in a little bit more here just to match this side where it's a little bit deeper. Uh, the lines, the lines are looking pretty decent actually. Are they looking okay for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I've smoothed over the beard with the scissors, like maintaining the length and the weight, which is quite nice. Just a little bit. Just going to take that little corner off there, um, and then I'll uh, adjust that fade just through here a little bit for you. Is there anything there you want to adjust in that you've seen? Does that feel good, yeah? I'll give you a close up in a sec as well so you can assess it. Sometimes it's nice just to get the lines in first and then you see how I do go back and forth to the fade. I feel like once you do the line, you're like, oh, okay. It, it's a little bit too dense there still, so go back to it and just polish up or, or refine. It's actually quite fun because you're then just like perfecting your own work. Do you know what I mean? It, which is quite fun to do rather than trying to get it done straight away. It's nice to go back. Obviously like you need, you need time to do these sort of things in a, in a shot. So That's why it's always about like not only quality, but it's time in of what you do things. Cause you can spend the wrong time on the wrong things. And then you buy, you know, it, your next one's in, you're like, Oh my God, you know, how am I, how am I supposed to do this skin fade now? So your best bet is to just follow your steps, get the haircut done and then go back and refine afterwards and work with the client, which is what I like to do. And if they seen anything as well, that saves me time. If I've maybe missed something with my own eyes. Is there anything there you want to adjust? You want to go a little bit sharper? I have obviously left the tash slightly thicker because that's like my preference, but we can, we can refine it a little bit more. Just another blast with this. Just try and get this closer. Yeah, get a bit closer on the neck. Yeah, can do that. Cover the neck perfectly. Sweet, thank you, man. This is probably the most important bit of the trim, isn't it? It's just getting these little hairs, actually. Because you, you do the trim, and I could say, all right, see you later. And you go home and like, why have I got this on my neck? Why has he left all this stuff on my neck? Do you ever have like the foils on your skin then? Like, you know, the, uh, this machine. Yeah, you do? Yeah, I've never used it. Callum used it the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes like with wavy hair, you can, you can get a reaction to it. Mm. So I tend, not, I tend not to use it on wavy hair because and I might not actually use it on you because I don't want to be that person that does it to you in case you okay. want to find me later on. Um, because <laughs> it, it can get like uh, a lot of bumps from it, like wavy hair yeah, yeah. because of the way. That's yeah, yeah, stay away from it. I'd, I'd recommend. You, don't, you almost don't need to. Like, I know it can get, give you an extra day or two, but mm. it's not worth it for the fact that you, your skin's just going to look all bumpy and stuff, you know? Um, have a little rest back on the headrest and I'll just go another round on here for you. So I'm using a closer a trimmer um, just around the neck. Now I have a few trimmers. I have one that's a little bit softer for sensitive skin. This one's a little bit on the on the like the in the middle, and I've got another one that's even even sharper. And I find it's it's kind of good to have three types because. Um, so yeah, there's all different skin types. You can always end up irritating someone's skin. So you have to sort of assess it as well. You can see like, like Rand's here, like it's a little bit irritated, just from going a little bit sharper, but we've got close. Cool, have a little look there. Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Andis, that one. That one's got a little bit sharper. How's that for you, man? Yeah, man. All right? Yeah. Yeah, feeling better? Definitely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sweet. No, I appreciate it coming through, man. Thank you. Nice one.